Ethiopia just lit up Africa with the Grand Renaissance Dam. And this is massive news. A dream that started with Haile Selassie, revived by Melis in the 90s, and finished by Abiy Ahmed. Five billion dollars, just over 5,000 megawatts. No IMF, no World Bank, no bailout in sight. Finance overwhelmingly at home. With the people buying bonds, donating wages and raising funds, it became a symbol of pride. More than 25,000 Ethiopians worked on the site, a poor country building a mega project on a global scale. And it's bigger than Ethiopia. Around two thirds of the population still lack reliable electricity. And this is designed to change that, right? Djibouti, Sudan and Kenya are already plugged in, with Ethiopia earning over $100 million a year from exports and aiming to grow that figure as the dam reaches full capacity. To put it in perspective, right, this single project roughly doubles Ethiopia's total electricity output. Energy means stability. Stability drives growth. And across Africa, more than 600 million people are still without electricity. Every factory Every data center, every AI lab depends on closing that gap. But power always brings pressure, right? Egypt says that the Nile is at risk and keeps pushing for a binding deal. They even rejected their invite to come and see the dam opening, calling the dam an existential threat. Critics point out that foreign contractors and imported machinery played their part. And others argue that billions should have gone to peace first. There's also the cost of communities, right, to the river and the risk that drought could cut output. All of that is true. Here's the business lesson. When you build with your own money, you own the terms, no hidden clauses, no outside control, but you also carry the risk and the rivals will test you harder. And that's true whether or not you're a nation, a founder or a hustler. So does self-funding buy freedom or paint a target on your back? Ethiopia just showed the play. Ownership, vision, resilience, And for everyone asking how Africa can move into AI when electricity and water are the biggest costs, start here. No power means no servers, no training, no future. The dam isn't just about today. It's about owning tomorrow's industries. Let's talk in the comment section and repost this, man. Share it with your people. And if you think Africa should build without asking permission, 